Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on the mobile game Baseball 9. For those of you just starting out, this will hopefully be a good resource for you to learn how to navigate the menus, learn how to recruit players, how to upgrade players, and how to view your stats, and more. You can download this game on the iTunes Store or the Google Play Store. I'll put links to those in the description below. If you do like this game, love the content, feel free to give me a like, subscribe, stay up to date on all the new tips and tricks for this game as I will be trying to upload more videos to help you out. Alright, so let's get into it. The main menu is fairly basic. All the main tabs will be at the bottom of the screen. Let's start with that first team management tab. Here you can change your team name. This is one of the achievements you can do in this tab so I'd recommend doing this and getting the achievement for it. You can also earn emblems and uniforms. Um, you use the tokens to spend on different emblems and uniforms you'd want to change into. Um, and I'm looking out to save up for a cool kit. Maybe the business one or the Navy Sailor one. Let me know what you think in the comment description below and what you want to see. Maybe I'll get it. Here you can also unlock stadiums um, using coins and gems. I wouldn't recommend you doing this first starting off because you don't have as much money. Next let's go into the lineup tab. You'll be able to manage the condition of all your players here as well. You'll see the green smiley faces, yellow neutral faces, and there'll also be the red sad faces. On the screen you can also see the stats for all your players, um, their stats for their career or just the season. Here you can also set the batting lineup for your team. Next up is the upgrade tab. This is where you'll be spending a lot of your time to upgrade your players and your team overall. On the main screen here shows the stats and their information for all your players, uh, both on the left side and the right side. You can scroll along the bottom of the screen there to see other players and if you press a button clicking on the tier box will allow you to upgrade tier of the players from bronze all the way up to diamond each tier requires five tier badges and some coins badges are mainly earned from playing games and special events each tier will increase the overall of your player by five without needing to gain xp or to add ap to your player if you click on the level plus button this will allow you to use experience drinks that you earn from games to add XP to your players and this will increase their overall level and they'll give you AP points for use for you to use to spend on that player on their abilities. In order to upgrade a player you want to click the green box next to the LV and percentage. You have to use XP drinks and once they reach a new skill level, you want to use AP to use skills once their XP has been increased. Um, you can increase that up on the right corner where it says AP. Click that green plus, you'll be able to point, put points onto each of their abilities. And the points do, each ability does require more points as they get higher in level. If the player you want is already at a max level, you have to press the increase level button in order to increase their max level. And on the bottom there's the skill icon. This will allow each player to have up to two skills. You get the first one at level 10 and the second one at level 20. Each one will increase a specific attribute for each player uh, and you can scroll through and see the different ones. And the next tab, the custom tab, will let you customize each player. You can change the player's name, their jersey number, and add cosmetic appearance items here. Everything you buy here is purely for cosmetic and will not affect any attributes of your players. They just make them look cool pretty much. The next tab, the gear tab, similar to the customized tab, you can also buy cosmetic items and gear for your player to have, make them look cool, have some swag while you're playing the game. Once again, anything you buy here will not have any impact on the player's attributes. Now this next tab, the accessories tab, you can buy accessories to add on to your players that will have an impact on their performance and attributes. The next step after that is the shop tab where you can spend money, gems, and coins on different items for your teams. Um, the store also has 
rotating sales every day. For example, here you get extra recruit tickets if you buy diamonds. And the last item on this tab is what I consider the most important for average players who are not looking to spend a lot of money on the game. This is where you can buy recruit tickets to recruit new players, um, as well as XP, conditioning drinks, and increasing max stamina. On the last tab is the league tab. Here you can check on the rosters of other teams in the league and do scouting of other teams. You can see their overalls and as well as the stats for individual players. Um, this next tab, stats tabs, allows you to see the stats of every player in the league. There's a lot of sorting and filtering options that you can use to see how your players rank and how other players rank. You do get a coin bonus at the end of every season for every player that places top three in different categories. I think there's ones that have home runs, pitchers for wins, strikeouts, top ERAs, things like that. So if you want to keep an eye on those stats throughout the season, you can use this tab to filter through and look at those stats. The last tab shows you the league stage, which shows you what league you're in on your climb up to world. And the other tabs, once you go back onto the main page on the left side, are the first one is the free gems and stamina. This will let you to watch a short video to get 10 free gems and 5 stamina. Uh, I think these refresh every couple hours so if you want to check back on the app throughout the day this is a good way to earn some free gems as well as some free stamina for you to sim through those long seasons. Next up is the missions tab. This will let you see a list of missions you have and you can also claim rewards from your missions and achievements. This last tab is the recruiting tab. This is pretty important because this is where you can add new players to your team. So when you first start out, all your basic players, you're not able to upgrade them. So in order to upgrade a player with experience points and adding their AP attributes, you have to recruit a player. So I definitely recommend saving up those recruit tickets and recruiting players as soon as possible. Awesome. Hopefully you all found that video to be really helpful. I know that as a new player myself, I found the game really daunting to navigate through. I didn't know how to upgrade my players, who to upgrade, how do I even get players. So if it was useful, hit that like button. If you have any questions, any suggestions for topics that you want me to cover, feel free to comment down below. I'll be looking at the comments. And if you do want to stay up to date, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with future videos and tips and guides just like this one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.